uh, you had a piece of, of uh, decorative fiberglass composite that's about 14 pounds. Uh, it was attached inside uh, one of the concourses, and for whatever reason, not as it is, because uh, we talked to the airport director on Saturday and again yesterday, and those pieces, which are decorative panels, they're about 14, 10 to 14 pounds, depending on which one uh, you're looking at. Um, they've actually tried to take down in other areas where they've made adjustments for remodeling and, and actually have had a very difficult time taking them down. In fact, in a couple of cases, actually destroyed uh, the decorative piece itself because it's, it's a combination of both uh, professional level adhesive along with a bracket they put on there. Um, and so they were obviously very surprised. They have since had their maintenance crews, there's about 60, I think it's 61 individuals that work on maintenance uh, related issues. Uh, at the airport, and they had them look at that throughout that entire concourse, and the rest of those are secured, so they don't know why exactly that particular one uh, came off. But again, it's one of those, it's about 14 pounds, and it's a decorative, um, a, a decorative, I guess you'd call it, panel. They, they went through and looked at that entire area immediately on Saturday, um, and they've looked throughout the rest of the airport to see if there's anything else like that. But again, it's one of those where the maintenance crew even talking about it on Saturday after it was reported to them, uh, was shocked because they tried to deal with those panels before to move them when they do. There's constant remodeling at the airport all the time. And they actually said it has been very difficult for them to get them detached uh, from the wall in the airport. Why did the one panel fall? Have they figured that out? They, they don't know. They don't know. Again, it's the, the odd part about it when I talked to Barry Bateman uh, over the weekend was um, that was something he was completely shocked with because, again, when they you look at others in that C concourse where when they've added, the Midwest added the lower level um, additional gates in the past, they had to take a few of those off. Uh, again, they're a decorative piece that fits on the side there, are kind of a fiberglass base to it. Uh, and they thought they'd be easy to detach, and they actually found with all the industrial strength adhesive they put on and then the bracketing they put onto that, um, that it was very difficult. In a couple of cases, they actually ended up destroying the panel by trying to take it off because it was so uh, connected to the uh, to the wall there. So why it would happen in that particular case, they don't know. But the problem you go back to with O'Donnell Park, which obviously was where this all came from, at least from the initial response, and we still won't know until all the work's done from the structural engineering firm that looked at that. That's still on pace to be done by the end of August. So we still, we, we have ideas of, of what may have contributed, but we still don't know exactly what caused that failure on that day at that piece of, of uh, the facade panel. And what we have found thus far from the inspections there and throughout the facility um, is that no normal inspection uh, would have found um, uh, any reason to believe that those panels weren't installed the way they were originally intended to. Uh, and so that's the biggest challenge in a case like that is you could inspect them once a week um, but if they weren't installed the way they were supposed to, and if that ends up being a major contributing factor, um, it, it obviously is very frustrating. 